हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू दी चैनल माय नेम इज महेश कारिया यू गाइस आर वाचिंग मी ऑन YouTube नाउ एंड इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोना टेक यू थ्रू हाउ टू यूज हसूरा सो आई एम अज्यूमिंग यू गाइस आर फैमिलियर विद ग्राफक्यूएल ऑलरेडी सो हसूरा इज समथिंग बिल्ट ऑन द टॉप ऑफ ग्राफक्यूएल वेयर यू डोंट हैव टू क्रिएट एपीएस इट प्रोवाइड्स अ नाइस कंसोल यूआई दैट यू कैन यूज एंड यू कैन प्रोसीड विद क्रिएटिंग uh apis if you want by connecting it to multiple data sources that you can proceed with so uh yeah without wasting any time let's deep dive into it so for that you have to have two things available inside your system first thing is docker uh, so please install docker from docker.com uh, according to your system configurations and the next thing you need any editor so uh just simply go to vs code install this if you don't have it already inside your system uh now once you have a docker installed already simply search for docker ps uh then you will be you will able to see this later i'll start with the docker compose you just need to create a new docker compose dot yaml file and uh, later i'll start with defining the configurations i'm using the version 3.9 which is the new latest version currently available out there the postgres service that i'm going to use this the container you can use mysql or whatever the preferred database that uh, you will be using uh, that will get connected automatically with the hasura so i'm using this restart always so if something goes wrong it will get uh, restarted all the time i'm using the latest version of the postgres and this is my configurations like user password db uh later uh this hasura slash graphql engine that is provided by hasura team that you can use and this is depends on the postgres so postgres is the service or mysql or any other external data base that you can directly connect with the console so make sure that you provide this console true that will allow you to access from the browser and this is pretty much it the next command in order to run this thing is to build and uh, once you build this thing uh, you have to check this docker if you don't have it already simply go to the extension search for the docker and you're good to go so this is first extension that i have used and the next one is the database simply search for the database and you will see here the n number of other clients out there available i'm using this one in order to check that this is database container is running or not so here it is so go to the edit connection or create a new connection where i'm using the same configuration my database and this configuration that i have defined in here so now i can go with the localhost colon 8080 slash console so i need this secret that i'm, I'm going to get it from here and make sure if you are using it for production don't use this hard coded values in here create the environment file in here and attach that environment file path in here so this is it and now we got connected to the database if you wanted to connect with any other database you see the my database is connected already if not you can attach any online cloud sources from here and you can directly start using it so now you can create the you, you can go to the schema and you can uh, actually create the schema and number of other things that you can do in here so i got created this user already inside here uh and where you can create a table you can name it data table maybe and based on that you can create the column that column can have a integer auto incremented later you can have a name maybe which will be a char and char can be varying up to uh, and you can define the primary key and a number of other things that you can do insert the rows you can insert the rows my name is mahesh i'm going to start with the saving new row in here you will browse the rows that you have just created and you can of course test with the graphql by inserting into the query so this is how you can where conditions and number of other conditions that you can use and you will get this you don't have to use apis of course but you wanted to create the apis you go to this tab and you can directly create a new uh go data just wanted to delete this okay just op you can export of course whatever you are creating you can export to open api sync and uh, uh, open api specifications so i'm going to create a new rest api i'm going to provide the any query that uh, import from graphql this this thing i'm i want so just go to the rest uh, name it whatever it may be create the post api and create this this is how you create the apis in here you can do the actions where you can create the trigger maybe that if you want 
uh, remote schemas yeah, you can get connected in here events you can create so a number of other things that you can do by going in into the whitelist you can whitelist the specific uh, permissions you can provide and number of other things that you can explore on your own so i guess this is pretty much it but the another version of it is using it directly inside the cloud so just click on get started and you're good to go uh, here you can create a new project that will but this is of course this something that is hosted on the top of aws google cloud and azure in specific region uh, so this is pretty much expensive that's why we uh, use this pattern so you can use this and if you are not able to connect to database don't worry simply search or uh, go to manage and create database and here you choose the postgres connect and here you define the version this uh, specific uh, variable name that i am using so this is my url so i am going to use the variable name in here otherwise you can provide the hard coded but this is not the right way okay and simply connect to database name it whatever it may be so it got connected again okay so this is how you can proceed i'm uh, sure this video is pretty much helpful to you guys please let me know inside comment box what you want from my side definitely i'll make it for you and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and smash that like button if you enjoyed see you soon in next video till then tada bye bye